hey guys so i have visual code insights open here and again this is an optional class and i'm just going to show you how i have my system set up so i'm going to go to some extensions i like to use and i'm going to i have this code open here so i can show you the difference before and after so the first extension i'm going to show is the material icon and what this is going to do is uh, just add these icons to our file so if we go to our project here you see the icons we have right now the even the source and the component folder and uh, javascript files here so after we go ahead and install and set for use material icon team if we Go back now. You can see the source file, the components, uh, the folders, and even the files have all these uh, new icons that I like it. So another extension I use is a for a team. Also, is a material material team, and is this material community material team, and you can just go ahead and install as well and here it's going to give us the options of the the teams we can use in if we use dark that's the team, the team i'm going to be using and we can see here um, if we get this other file where we have some html here with some react components we can see the difference in the color i think it's a lot easier to figure out what's going on so if for example um, if we got a quotes here, uh, you can see the how color changes, and it's a lot easier to see where you can have some problems. Another extension I'm gonna be using is called Auto Rename Tag, and that's pretty self-explanatory. It's when you rename one of the tags it renames the other tag as well so we go ahead and install this and we can come here to one component and you can see the route there is a open route and a closed route and if i change this for a test you can see it's changing the bottom one at the same time so it makes it easy another one i like to use is auto imports and it's already showing here. Um, I like to install the auto imports and the auto imports ES6 and GS and GSX. What this will do is so if for example I delete this switch from here and um, when I type again you see it shows here I'll import from React Redux and if I click tab, it will auto complete for me and I don't have to do the import all the time. Another extension I also use quite a lot is the bracket pair colorizer. And as this two uh, just is version one and the version two and uh, it's very self-explanatory as well. It uh, changed the colors of the brackets uh, depending on the level of the notation. So let me maybe here just create some example. And let's say function test and then just open here and uh, open another one and another one and some brackets let's do like this and if i install this you're gonna see now uh, the the colors match the open and close i think that makes it easier for us to see the what level of nesting we are so let me delete this another extension is a color highlight and this is 
just to a nice way to see the color we're using uh, hexadecimal color so if we install this and if we go to a CSS file and then I can just say uh, body uh, body and then say color and then hash ff 36 and you can see as I type the color uh, the color here changes so it's a nice way to see the color we're using so did that too and going back to the extensions yet another extension um, that I use quite a lot is the ES7 React uh, the snippets so this makes coding a lot easier and faster so but I can show you uh, for example if I decide to do another uh, React functional component and export I can just type uh, RFCE and then I hit tab and it creates this code for me there is quite a few snippets that I like to use but definitely this one is the one I use the most um, another extension is the highlight uh, sorry if I can type matching tag And what this does is it highlights the matching tag you're selecting. So if I install this, and then again, if we go back to index, uh, you can see as I select root, it highlights the bottom one. Uh, and here is switch, and it highlights the bottom one too. So easy to find the closing tag if you need to. Um, another tag I use quite a lot is the indent rainbow and here what it does is create this rainbow on the indentations so you can see here before and after I install it you can see this indentations here um, makes it a lot easier as well to see when I start and when I block finished. Finally, another extension I use quite a bit is the IntelliSense for CSS. And this will help with the out complete for CSS classes. So before I install it, if you we go here for this file where we have a few classes and this class come from materialize. If I try to, for example, use this card title, you see there is no completion there. But after we install this, we can just come back here and if we start type the name you see there card title and i think what's more interest um you don't have to type the whole i can type ca and ti and that will give me card title and i can just press tab and complete so finally the last one we're gonna install it's called fit here and that's gonna help us to format the code and let's go ahead and install and we're gonna set up fit here on the next class to format as we save or as we paste it so basically what fit here does is it helps us uh, formatting the text here uh, so if we have the auto annotations and we have 
single quotes mixed with double quotes. We can call Prettier. At, we're going to configure Prettier on the next class. But at the moment, if I type uh, Shift Command P and bring here this command panel and type Format Document, uh, it's going to say that we have multiple files configured to format an element. So if we press configure, we can select prettier. And now you can see it formatted for me. It fixed my quotes and everything. And we can configure how many tabs we want, how many spaces we want here. We want to use single or double quote, so whatever we prefer. But we're going to be set up this on the next class. And this class is getting really long already. So I'll see you on the next class.